Yeah, yeah sir, if you don't get him out of prison, you know. Yeah, tell you that, you know. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think him are realize, you understand, is that it's not where I put straightforward, you know. Is what is being said or done indirectly. This is bigger than the wedding between Princess Kate and Prince William right now in fact. Yeah. Go on, you tell go on, go on. He's yourself, just keep it calm, you tell star. Only put pressure on my gun. What time it out for carry on? You don't need no girl for turn to no man for talk to. Feeling hurt, but the journey so far. Wagwan Success family, this is O. Vibes Cartel is doing well in court and that is a good thing. The appeal court is being fair and they reserve two key points from, from Vibes Cartel defense and those are Sir P from Politics Watch, Impact and the technological evidence in the case and that's big. But let me just break down this for you real quick. Now, when the court accepts arguments from Vibes Cartel defense for a later consideration, it signifies that the court acknowledges the relevance and the potential impact of these arguments on the case outcome. This acceptance does not mean an immediate decision in favor of Vibes Cartel, but indicates that the court deems the issues significant enough to warrant detailed examination in subsequent proceedings. The appeal court holds off these key points to make a final decision until a substantive hearing where both parties can present comprehensive arguments evidence expert testimonies and so on and so forth now what i want people to also understand is this is the other twist of the situation now that the court of appeal reserve the arguments for later consideration it could be pivotal instrumental in determining the outcome of the case which could lead to vibes cartel release or acquittal so by the court of appeal reserving these arguments the court acknowledges that they may significantly impact the fairness and validity of the trial if upon detailed examination of these arguments are found to demonstrate substantial procedural errors, lack of crucial evidence or other legal deficiencies, they could make a decision and bar a retrial. So let's get into it right now. Sir P from Politics Watch has become involved in Vibes Cartel case due to his intense focus on it or his obsession you could say with vibes cartel and as a result sean storm's sister claims that sir p and other vloggers coverage could prevent a fair retrial sean storm's sister argued that widespread social media discussions could bias potential jurors given jamaica's limited jury vetting system the court accepted these arguments even though acting dpp claudette thompson objected the court sent a strict warning also to the media because we do not want another stunt like what we saw Ira FM pulled off we do not want that right let me also just say I am not surprised by this approach because Curly Locks from Twins of Twins had predicted this outcome stating that Vibes Carter lawyer would use the arguments about detrimental effects of social media coverage specifically for people like Sir P and what Sir P is doing right so this is what Curly Locks said two weeks ago yeah, Sir P don't get him out of prison you know? Sir P put out whole heap of evidence and he might do research and he might back it with this and he might put up that and he might show say this is this and that is that and he might put two and two together. He might dot all of the I's and he might cross all of the T's. But wait, 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 wait. I don't think he might realize, you understand, is that it's not where I put straightforward in. It's what is being said or done indirectly indirectly it can pose a threat to the integrity of the case itself me promise you say the defense i got draw upon the influence with sir p have believe me sir p platform i know nah man something you know. believe me so that can be one way where if we cartel work Believe me, I'm sir P and biggest liar. I believe that. Now, defense lawyers for Vibes Cartel and his co accused argued that the absence of crucial technological evidence from their original murder trial would severely hinder their ability to defend themselves adequately in the event of a retrial. They have submitted a report by IT consultant Sean Wensley, which shows the importance of this evidence. However, the prosecution, led by Assistant Director of Public Prosecution Janik Forbes, is contesting 
contesting the validity of this report, labeling it as hearsay and suggesting it is beyond Wenzel's expertise. She writing, <laughs> the Court of Appeal judges are particularly focused on the implications of the missing technological evidence and the extensive pre-trial publicity the case has received. Defense attorney John Clark said that the absence of this evidence would make it impossible for the defense to conduct a thorough analysis and that is true which is compromising their ability to prepare for adequate defense. And as always, you're going to have the prosecution raising significant objections to the defense affidavits arguing that they contain speculative irrelevant information with some elements being considered hearsay or legal arguments rather than factual evidence. So acting DPP Claudette Thompson requested that portions of the affidavits be struck out which the court partially upheld. So I just want people to remember that the appeal court has retained two key arguments and that is the technological evidence and also the Serpy situation. Now let's be honest the decision by the court is recognizing the challenges posed by modern media in ensuring impartial jury and I love the fact that the court acknowledges these arguments it suggests a growing awareness of how pervasive media coverage can influence legal proceedings potentially undermining the integrity of judicial process and I love this approach by the court so big up the court of appeal for you know taking this fear approach I think the appeal court wants to make sure they do not mess this one up because the world is watching. Another thing that happened is that the court rejected health related claims from Vibes Cartel's son which suggested that cartel poor health would prevent him from standing trial. Some of the affidavits were deemed speculative and argumentative were also struck out. So, this, so the court actually struck out quite a few but those few that they struck out are not really important. Those are not key key arguments the key arguments actually stood up and that is the technological evidence which is one of the biggest arguments so far this day too for that argument to actually stand that is immense that is big and then you, you know the whole Serpy situation because Serpy impact is not a normal impact as curly lock said you see me so we love to see all the fairness and everything is going right now I will try to keep up but I'm not sure if I'm able to keep up with everything because I don't just want to just come and just throw out information and just read what they said no I want to break it down I want to go into details I want to I want people to understand what was said in court so it's not as it's not a situation where what was said in court you just come and read it back to the people them know the people them can actually go on the site and read it themselves we are here to break it down so people can actually understand what is going on because we are their favorite youtubers you get me so thanks for the likes thanks for the sub subscribe thanks for the views thanks for the comments as i said i will try to you know give you update as it happened but not so fast because we, we have to come and get everything together you see me